Hi, it's Kristen with Clay. In this video, we'll go over contact cards. Each of your contact has a, each of your contacts has a card associated with it that you can view by clicking on that contact. So let's click on a contact here, and that's where we'll see this contact's card. The card will include notes, bio information, any groups that this person is part of, as well as any sources, which is the ways, the methods that you have to contact the person, um, and any other location information and things like that that we might have for this contact. You can see we also have a birthday here um, and age information for this contact, which is a really helpful tool. Within this contact card, there are a lot of different actions you can take, which you can see up here with these icons. From a contact card, you can add them to your starred group by clicking on this icon or pressing S. You can contact them directly from their card by clicking here and using one of the methods of um, communication that you have on file for them. You can add a note. Like that. <laughs> you can reset the reconnect cadence by creating a custom cadence or by disabling it. You can add them to a group. You can edit the contact. This would be a really great place if you want to add somebody's social information um, or any organizations they're part of or any personal information that you want to have on file, like again, that birthday. Once you're done, you'll just press save. I didn't edit this one, so that's why it's grayed out. Um, you can also merge the person with a different contact. So if I thought I had a different contact that was also Leah, then I could click on merge and search for the duplicates there. And finally, I can go ahead and archive that person if I no longer need access to them. If you do choose to archive the person, you can always recover them within your archived people over here. But otherwise, that will be all of the things that you'll need to know to, let me find that, oops, let me find my contact again. Um, that will be all the things that you need to know when you're viewing a contacts card. If you have any interactions with the contact, those will also show up over here. Let me try to find a contact that has a moment over there. Let's see, just scrolling here. So, okay, let's look at Sarah for a second. We don't have quite as much bio information or experience information, but you can see that there are a few different people that have been added as related people to Sarah. So if you have any related contacts, those will show up within the contact card as well. And then as I mentioned, we also show um, interaction history within your contact cards. So again, let me try to find someone that we have contact history with. This is our demo account. So, okay, here we go. Um, if you do have any past moments or interactions, those moments will show up here. You'll generally see your last event and your first event based on whichever type of integration you have set up for that contact, whether it's email or calendar or both. So that's a quick overview of contact cards. If you have more questions, you can learn more at our library, library.clay.earth, or reach out to us directly at care at clay.earth. Thanks for watching and stick around for more videos.